Hey guys, welcome back to our channel and today we'll be doing a video of me styling Keith um, similar to the one that he did for me last time so if you haven't watched that video, check it out um, so today, yeah, I'll be styling Keith in the way I would normally do it and see how he will turn out Before we begin, let's do one thing Happy white day, day. <laughs> Okay, um, he already gave me this yesterday yeah, This is the um, flower he got me I told him that I liked white flowers and he got this custom on the spot because they didn't have white flowers and it's really pretty right he picked all the different flowers so starting off we'll just do it however I would do it how I normally do it is I normally wash the face okay let's just assume that it's already washed washed his face already um, I'm using the Laurier Messier primer this just helps to prepare the face up and make sure that the concealer or foundation or whatever um, applies more smoothly um, and lasts longer as well I don't like the thought of like applying makeup directly on the skin because I feel like I'm gonna break out from that <laughs> I'm just gonna go straight in with the concealer I'm using Fenty Beauty this is shade 230 which I think it's light enough for his skin let's hope because my skin tone is quite dark compared to his but I just do like a few dots Oh shit, I didn't. I heard you say, oh shit. I know he normally like conceals the corner of the eyes, but I don't understand the, what that is. I don't get it. <laughs> I think that's just some habit that he has. <laughs> um, I use a makeup sponge or a beauty blender, whatever. You know, the whole video in my heart, I will probably be just praying that I won't break out from this. Okay. Natural, right? You don't want to go over too much or else his skin will start to look too heavy and cakey So my eye bags are pretty bad I think Normally like after I conceal the um, eye bags I will actually go over it with a bit of um, eyeshadow <laughs> This is eyeshadow but it provides good concealing coverage as well This is from Kat Von D So I go on this one at the right And I just Put it underneath the eye as well If I have a lot of time, I would do this, okay? So I'm using the Fenty Beauty um, contour stick, right? We're gonna go for a high cheekbone So just one line So dark Two lines And then the jaw Here And here He doesn't need this, but You know, like some people do, so <laughs> And then his nose His forehead is pretty small, so you won't need to contour the forehead But if your forehead is higher, then you would want to apply some at the top as well And just shade it down So I'm just going to use a hand oh, Okay, you know what? Just use a sponge <laughs> It's so dark Okay, this is a bit too dark for him because <laughs> Because my skin tone's a bit darker, right? That's why, um Okay, it's not the right shade <laughs> Let's pretend it is Oh, but it's nice. Oh, okay. I can, I'm good at applying makeup to others, but not myself, maybe. <laughs> After contouring, we're gonna add some highlight. So I'm using um, the Laurier Messier Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder. This is actually a powder. It's not a highlighter, but I use it as a highlighter because I'm going for a natural look. And most highlighters have like glitter in them, which I, I don't want glitter. But this just has a nice glow it's more of a glow rather than a highlighter area okay so the final step of the face um, because we're in Singapore it's a bit hot right so to make sure that we don't sweat and we don't have this like um, sweaty look with like a huge shine I'm using the Fenty Beauty Universal Powder and just like brush it across his face the areas that he's gonna sweat basically now we're gonna move on to the eyebrows So using a eyebrow pencil, we're just going to first brush his eyebrows And then we're going to draw To be honest, Keith doesn't really need um, to draw his eyebrows I feel like his eyebrows are fine We're gonna draw it and then we're gonna blend it in with the brush oh my god, oh my god, oh my god Chill You're very rough, it's like scratching my face Why you brush so hard? Oh my god, the feeling is like using this green sponge that you use to wash plates to <laughs> scrub my face I don't do this, you know what, might as well use it <laughs> So this is a Dior Le Balm, so it's a very natural colour Pumps up the lip Gives it a nice healthy 
color to the lips. And once again, I'm using the Kat Von D eyeshadow palette. Go in with this peachy eye. So I just apply this and then bring it down. And then we are going to go in with this lighter shade. Put this at the corner of his eyes here. Um, I don't think Keith likes this, but I actually like to darken the edges, the corners of the eyes. He likes to lighten it up, but I like to darken it because it gives this like foxy look. So we're going to apply this at the really corner of the eyes. And last but not least, we're going to go with the highlighter again. But this time we're going to apply this at the top of his close your eyes. Below his eyebrows, but above his eyes. His skin color is really light. Now I see the resemblance. They say I look like a Taiwan YouTuber. Oh my god. <laughs> I think I look... <laughs> oh, my lips are too pink, I think. Actually, I think your, his... You know what? His natural lips are already pink, so there was no need to do that. So I'm gonna just do my own hairstyle, which is basically just lifting up here. Rub the wax between your fingers to warm it up. Oh, well, actually, I don't know how to style Keith's hair because his hair is very different to mine. His hair is like really light my, and soft. Okay, look at me. <laughs> I can't style your hair. This is not going well. <laughs> One little tiny drop of wax, but I mean... <laughs> <laughs> what is this hairstyle? I think he needs. Like, oh, oh, you're very. Chulu. <laughs> Wait, how do you style your I, I see no resemblance with your hair. Can you stop moving? No, because it's painful, so you twist out to go that direction. I can't even see my masterpiece. Okay, good enough. I don't care anymore. I've given up. But actually, it's not bad, okay? Um, yeah, it's actually not bad. Okay. So now he's going to wear what I have got for him and we'll be back soon. We're back now and this is how I styled Keith. Um, a simple white top with um, denim jacket and um, a simple necklace, simple earring, um, a simple watch and bracelet on the other side, silver, all silver. Yeah. And he looks good, right? I like. I did a much better job than the one he did for me. Uh, you know, comment down below which one you prefer. Do you prefer um, how I styled Keith or do you prefer how he styled me? Which is no. Just basically make me look like a fuck boy. So. Oh, yeah, it actually looks good. That's your style. Yeah, it's my style. So my style's fuck boy. This is a fuck boy. Okay, do you wanna? <laughs> and what do you think about it? No, in video it looks fine. Just because. I'm very very fair, so everything is just white and then like the eyes looks a little bit droopy. The whole filming took about 30 minutes compared to the one that we did, which was only like 10 minutes. So... Huh? Yeah! The mile is three times longer. Yeah. But you can tell that time makes a difference to the quality, the end result. No, I think that the one that I did for you is also nice, just that you don't like it, that's all. Like. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. You give it a like, a subscribe, and comment down below what you want to see next and which one you preferred. Remember to turn on the notification bar so that when we have a new video, you pop up and you'll be notified immediately, okay? See you in your next video. Bye-bye.